welcome to Life for Cousin Patches. I get a letter from my Aunt Juanita, y'all. And she called to tell me that she was coming for Thanksgiving. And I got so excited. And everybody remember my Aunt Juanita, the chitlin queen. The one who cleaned 30 buckets of chitlins in one day in her little home. <laughs> this is her apartment complex that I remember I told you about. How she washed all them buckets to feed all the people in the residence there, the chitlins. Well, she is coming to my house for Thanksgiving. And I love her. And I love receiving things from my Aunt Juanita because, honey, she sends it all. She makes sure, honey, that she sends you and makes sure she takes very good care of her nieces. And I love her so much. So she said that she was going to make it down her, but she wanted to be responsible for the greens, the potato salad. And she just threw in a turkey and some gravy. And I said, oh, that is so sweet. I can't wait till you get her. And I love you, and I love my auntie's cooking. Well, she said that she don't want to spend all her time cooking, that she was going to pre-cook it, freeze it, and get on the mega bus and ride it all the way from Ohio to Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, she is. That she's not even going to pack a whole lot of clothing. Her and my little cousin Toya are going to, one is going to carry the potato salad. And one is going to carry the turkey breast and the greens all the way here. And I said, hey, Juanita, you don't have to, baby. I love you so much. We could just go to the grocery store. I don't want you to have to carry all that food all the way down there to here. Because, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's winter time and I love her and we're not in dire need and we can fix it when she get her. My Aunt Juanita said, child, hush your mouth. If I don't make it there because the weather's bad, I'm going to mail you the dinner. I'm going to make sure that my hospitality queen patches. It's going to have a meal on me if I got to mail it. I say, well, then please don't mail it. I'm making gravy, too. Yes, I'm going to make you some of that good jiggly gravy. I'm going to make an onion. Yes, you're going to love it. And I'm going to freeze it, and I'm going to mail it to you if I can't bring it to you by Greyhound. I said, Lord Jesus, <laughs> I love her so much. I said, oh, thank you, but you should have. Don't worry about it. I love you, ain't Juanita. She was like, hush my mouth. She's assisting on bringing us dinner. So we're going to have Thanksgiving on delivery. I hated to have to send her through all that. So I called her sister, my mother, Ernestine. Yes, my mama, Mama Tina. And I said, Mama, please tell your big sister that she don't have to worry about her and I have half of a Thanksgiving meal all the way to her from Georgia. Child, you should be glad somebody's trying to do something nice for you. She's good. She's clean. She knows what she's doing. She's been packing food and traveling on the highway for years. So, just know that that meal was special delivery. So, I do then that I done barked up the wrong darn gone tree. So, all I'm saying is that when I see gravy dripping out my mailbox, I'm going to know it didn't came from my Aunt Juanita <laughs> for our Thanksgiving holiday meal. <laughs> And it's just so crazy because we did think she's going out of town and can't eat the kids like to stop by. So, you know, they won't be able to be able to be here to enjoy in the motor oil smoke turkey breast that she's going to bring all the way here by Graham. <laughs> We're going to have to get it all to ourselves. Yes, we are. All to ourselves. Ah. I am so loved and I feel so special. Because, honey, mm -mm -mm. you know, I'm just really glad to tell her that I really don't eat pork no more, for real. So she don't have to worry about making chitlins, because you know she wanted to make some chitlins and bring them in a the butter bowl and bring them all the way here to me. And I'm just, just told I don't do ham like that no more. There's no use of bringing that to, because, you know, we really don't do it like that anymore. And, honey, whew. 
<sighs> so I can't wait to let y'all know when she get here, uh, or if she don't get here when the food arrives here for Thanksgiving. I cannot wait to tune in to tell y'all how delicious this food is because that's made with love. That's gonna be made from love, you know. I love her to death. If she had ascended by a humpback camel, she would. Then I just sat here and I looked at the Federal Express. They said they got 1.2 million packages they are expecting to deliver this year. So them men are going to be working very, very hard. So this goes out to all you postmen, UPS, Federal Express people. When y'all get my package and y'all smell them greens unfouling, you smell that turkey just the unmelting and that potato salad loosening and making it into broth <laughs> and that gravy and dripping. Don't y'all eat my food. My A1 Nita sent that to me. So don't y'all eat my Thanksgiving dinner. I don't care how good that gravy is slathering out that box with an onion hanging out the cracks. I don't care if you see the mushrooms floating in it. Don't eat Cousin Patrick's Thanksgiving meal because my ain't one Nita made that for me. And I love y'all. So until next time, subscribe and tell a friend to tell their mama, tell their daddy, tell their cousin, to everybody, enemies and all, to subscribe and watch Cousin Patrick's reruns. Because I'm retired. I can't be doing all this all the time. But I love y'all and I want to key in on y'all. Don't forget to subscribe to Life of Cuz. I mean, uh, Sweet Editions TV with candy. Uh-huh. Yeah, don't forget. Because these things are important. We got to eat. Times is hard. Times is hard for us. In 1975 patches. Well, sometimes my Martina. So until next time. Smooches and have a superior, superior, superior holiday. <laughs> oh, and thanks, Spencer. Thanks for my coffee cup. I love it. I, yes, I do use it, and I keep it put up because if somebody else is drinking out my cup, I will get very offended because how can you not know this is not my cup? My face is on it. <laughs> so, thank you again. And hello to your new dog, Spencer. I love you. Happy holidays. Smooches. <laughs>